Hey there, uh, Code Tonio here. Welcome back to this lesson. For today, we're going to talk about encryption and decryption process in uh, Cesar Cypher cryptography using a simple shift. So in, sim in Cesar Cypher's uh, encryption or cryptography by, uh, by a simple shift, for every letter in the plaintext, we will just need to replace each uh, with another letter by uh, shifting by a key value to the whole alphabet a certain number of letters wrapping around to the beginning once you reach the end. For example, if we have uh, using the English alphabet that uh, that is projected into your screen, let's say we have a word uh, apple, okay, and then let's say we have a key. Uh, which is uh, a four, okay? So what we are going to do is it's, uh, is that we will just need to uh, to replace each letter in the plain text with the letters in the English alphabet by shifting it with or via a key which is equal to four. So let's start with letter A. So in letter, uh, since the first letter in our play text is a so we start with a then we shift uh, we shift and go forward to the, uh, to the right uh, with like uh, let's say four since that is the value of our key then we reach to the D okay so therefore the the letter or the cipher text of a is letter D. Now, next, let's proceed with letter P. So you will then reach to T. So, therefore, P is T. So, since we have um, the same for the third, uh, we, uh, we have the same letter or character for the third character in our play text, then, therefore, this will have the same letter in the ciphertext. And then let's proceed now with L. So, in L, you ne you'll need to shift and move forward or go to the right uh, by four and then you will reach to p so therefore l would have a cipher letter or cipher text letter which is equ equivalent to p and with a you have letter h therefore the cipher text for the plain text apple will be d t t p and h so as you can notice um, encryption in Cesar Cipher text will can be easily uh, decrypted in the due to its um, the because again if you have like uh, since we have a key a constant key for every uh, for for shifting our plain text then the, by looking at the uh, the cipher text we can, as we can notice, T will be definitely have uh, the same letter in the plain text equivalent. So that's something that is, a, it's not good in terms of if, if you're going to choose this encryption process. So in terms of uh, the encryption process, all I just need to do is, uh, you'll need to go, you'll need to look at your ciphertext and of course, each letter of the ciphertext will be uh, all you all you just need to do is you shift back, okay, using the same key which is four. So we always have a constant value of key for encryption and decryption uh, process in Cesar ciphertext in order for us to arrive the correct um, ciphertext and via uh, arriving the correct plain text. So with letter D. Uh, You'll need to go back, uh, shift back to the left. So that's like D, okay. That's like D, E, and uh, you will have you will then arrive letter A, okay. So just erase the uh, letter X now. And then for letter T, you will then arrive letter P, and uh, for letter P, you will then arrive letter L, and H, you will then arrive letter uh, E. So again. If you're going to encrypt, you shift to the right if you're facing north. And then if you're going to decrypt, 
then you will need to shift back to the left or shift left. Now, uh, so as I mentioned earlier that we are going to uh, wrap around to the beginning once you reach the end, which is a uh, letter Z in our English alphabet. Just uh, like for an instance, if we have an X value, let's say it's Apple with the X like, uh, like that. So the last letter in our plain text is X. Then therefore you will need to what? Uh, since we shift from X going to Y and Z, then you wrap around to the beginning of the letter. So you will need to go back to the first letter, which is A in the English alphabet and then proceed with the shifting process. So by then you will uh, you will reach letter B as our ciphertext uh, equivalent of the plain text letter in, in Apple, uh, plain text letter X in our Apple plain text. Yeah, so I guess that would be all for the encryption and decryption uh, in Cesar Cipher cryptography using simple shift. So thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.